Is it possible to deny that the universe is strange? Just take a look right here at Earth, for example, and you will see all kinds of odd creatures crawling around. However, our planet is only a small part of the strange occurrences that may be found throughout the universe, and astronomers discover new ones every day. What could be more bizarre than the usual occurrences in the universe? What are some of the strangest space anomalies? Let's find out for ourselves in this video, from the cucumber-shaped extraterrestrial spacecraft to the unknown alien structure, and so much more. Aliens stealthily infiltrating the solar system fills the pages of science fiction books, so it's no surprise that enthusiasm grew when astronomer Dr. Robert Verick discovered an asteroid speeding through the solar system while utilizing the Pan-STARRS telescope at Haleakal Observatory in Hawaii on October the 19th, 2017. As the Hawaiian word for scout suggests, this object is called Oumuamua because of its unusually long and narrow dimensions. It could be as long as a kilometer in length, but no wider than 167 meters, giving it the appearance of a space cucumber. Could this cucumber-shaped object be an extraterrestrial spacecraft? It's moving so quickly that it can't possibly be gravitationally confined by the sun. The only conclusion is that it is an extraterrestrial that originated outside of our solar system and then traveled to Earth. Estimates place its arrival in the solar system during the Victorian era, but astronomers aren't sure how long it traveled through space alone before arriving here. A research based on data from the European Space Agency's Gaia telescope found four stars that it would have passed close to in the last one to seven million years. It is possible that one of these stars was its home. So, what exactly is Oumuamua? Astronomers initially thought it was an asteroid, but a deeper examination of its trajectory revealed that the Sun's gravitational pull was not the only factor influencing its path in space. There was speculation that it could be a probe from another planet. If it was equipped with a solar sail, the solar wind could be assisting in its detour. But this hypothesis has experienced criticism from most corners, and the item is more likely to be something wholly natural. Most of the evidence points towards a comet, says Dr. Colin Snodgrass, an astronomer at the Open University. When the comet's ice is warmed by the sun, little jets of gas are created, which may be shoving it off its natural gravitational track. Comets typically reflect around 4% of the light that strikes them. Oumuamua reflects more than twice as much. Unfortunately, we've run out of time to make any more observations, which is a shame. Oumuamua has escaped to the furthest reaches of the solar system, passing Jupiter on a path that will eventually take it out of our orbit. Despite this, astronomers continue to be perplexed by the debates and theories surrounding this mystery object. In the meantime, Oumuamua isn't the only item that has sparked interest in alien technology. The inexplicable fading of Tabby's star has also been linked to extraterrestrials. Not only does the star KIC 8462852 have a catchy memorable name, but it's also a mysterious aberration in the constellation Cygnus, 1,500 light years away from Earth. The star's brightness decreases by a startling 22% from time to time. As a result, the star's brilliance has diminished over the course of several decades. When a planet passed in front of a distant star, the Kepler Space Telescope noticed a dip in the star's brightness, which was a sign that a planet had passed in front of it. Unlike Tabby's star, however, the dimming induced by planets is evenly spaced as it occurs each time the alien world completes an orbit and it is also quite minor, often less than 1%. Tabby's star, on the other hand, just continues to grow more bizarre. 
what else could be causing the star to dim? One theory is that a swarm of comets is crashing into the star's solar system, generating massive amounts of dust in the process. It's possible that the star's irregularly dispersed dust is preventing some of the star's light from reaching us, resulting in frequent brightness variations. However, comet dust disappears in a matter of months. So, that doesn't explain the other pattern of long-term dimming spanning decades. Others have speculated that the culprit could be advanced alien megastructures created to capture the star's energy. If the technology was deployed unevenly around the star, it would create intermittent dips as it orbited, as well as block more light over time as the project was built, explaining the longer-term fading. However, some scientists disagree with this viewpoint. They cite observations of rapid dimming that demonstrate that the blue end of the spectrum is blocked more than the red end. Being that blue light has a smaller wavelength, you'd expect it to be scattered more by small dust grains like this. And when light meets with objects that are around the same size as its wavelength, it is scattered the most. Larger dust grains are implicated in the light spectrum linked to the longer-term dimming, according to the analysis. As a result, we may be looking at a complex cloud of various sized dust grains that block varying amounts of light as their orientation changes over time. The origin of all that dust, though, is still a mystery. Since the 1890s, there have been numerous changes to Tabby's star. As the star's light pulls material away from the planet, it appears that some process is replenishing the dust as it moves away from the star, which shouldn't have been possible. There's no obvious explanation for what's going on, but until we do, an unknown alien megastructure sounds like a very fascinating theory, don't you think? The ultimate cosmic quicksand is undoubtedly black holes. When a massive star collides, it implodes into a tiny area of such tremendous gravity that even the surrounding light is dragged in. This implies that while we have a general understanding of how black holes work, we have never seen one since they are invisible to telescopes that detect electromagnetic radiation, light or X-rays. We can only speculate on how they appear on the inside. Perhaps even stranger than black holes is something called a void. In particular, the giant void, which isn't actually a hole in space. Instead, it's strangely devoid of both matter and dark matter. Lights may pass through the void, unlike a black hole, yet scientists believe it includes dark energy. Even though this one stretches over 1.3 billion light years across, it isn't even the largest known void in the universe. There are so many voids that they account for about 80% of the observable universe. Although the nature of dark matter is still a mystery, cosmologists believe that as much as 27% of the universe's mass is made up of this enigmatic substance and we're counting on it to help explain some of our world's mysteries. For the most part, we know more about what dark matter does not do than what we do about what it does. Because the light warping that black holes would create isn't present, it's not made of them. It's possible that primordial black holes are the source of all the universe's dark matter. While dark matter is thought to make up only 27% of our universe, there is much more in the form of dark energy, which accounts for 68% of our surroundings. It's fascinating to learn that normal matter we're all familiar with makes up only 5% of the cosmos. We don't know much about dark energy, but the prevailing notion is that it is responsible for the universe's rapid expansion, while dark matter acts as a braking force. A 
Astronomers are stumped by fast radio bursts, FRBs, which are among the most difficult to explain. As their name implies, these are short, quick bursts of radio waves that can last only a few milliseconds. Radio telescopes picked up the first one back in 2007, and we've been scrambling to understand them ever since. For the most part, these FRBs appear to originate beyond the Milky Way galaxy. It takes the Sun 80 years to put off the same amount of energy as they do in a fraction of a second to be seen at that distance. Black holes colliding and communications from extraterrestrial civilizations are among the possible explanations for this. However, the universe managed to throw us another curveball before astronomers had a chance to figure them out. Scientists noticed a repeating explosion from a distant galaxy, identified as FRB 121102. It happened 93 times in one day in August 2017, ruling out a single event as the source. Whatever sparked the burst had to be continuing. It is conceivable that fast-spinning neutron stars or material falling into black holes are to blame for the appearance of FRBs. A new haul of 19 non-repeating FRBs was revealed in October 2018, including the nearest and brightest FRBs yet discovered. We hope that studying their attributes will help us pinpoint their home galaxies and eventually the cataclysmic events that are causing them. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for our next episode. I'll see you there.